Hey folks, how you doing? Good morning to you. Happy Monday. Welcome to Key West Ford TV. My name is Ryan. Want to share a thought with you today and welcome to my office. This is a 2014 Ford Edge Sport. One of the best fit and finishes on the interior and exterior in Ford's entire vehicle lineup. What I want to share with you today is what you want to do on a test drive. Now, check out the video. I'll put a link to it right here on the different steps of the sales process or the customer experience process to know when you should do a test drive in your uh, process of looking at a new vehicle. But what do you do in a test drive? Well, first and foremost, number one, you want to make sure that the sales rep taking care of you does a complete walk around of the, of the vehicle. That sales rep is a product expert or should be and should be doing a complete vehicle walk around inside and out of all the features in that vehicle and being able to zero in on the features that are most applicable to you. Now, when you jump behind the wheel yourself, number one, you want to pay attention to the fit and finish of the vehicle. And you want to get comfortable in your seating position behind the driver's wheel. You want to adjust things like the steering wheel itself, if it has a tilt or telescopic steering wheel. You want to adjust the side mirrors and the rear view mirror and the seat position. You want to make sure that you're driving this vehicle in a seating position as if you would be any other day of the week as you're driving your vehicles, even though you're on a test drive. Next, you want to pay attention to the interior fit and finish. You want to get familiar with, before you go on the test drive, the different functions of that vehicle, such as maybe a navigation system or how to adjust the climate control or the radio, or if there's an information display in front of the steering wheel, how do I change what's on my information display? And again, your sales rep should be beside you or maybe in the back seat walking you through all those things before you set out on the road. Now, hitting the road... You want to make sure that you take this vehicle through a, a number of different functions, such as starting and stopping and turning and going up and down hills uh, at you know a, a slow acceleration, a fast acceleration, a slow stop, a fast stop. But here's what a lot of people miss, and I want to pay want you to pay attention to this because I am sitting right now in a parking lot. Number one thing that I find that people miss on a test drive is parking the vehicle. You think about your daily routine or your weekly routine, you're going to go in and out of parking lots on a fairly regular basis. So therefore, as you're test driving a new vehicle, even if it's a new model of the same vehicle, you want to make sure you pay attention to how that vehicle parks. Now, keep in mind, it's a new vehicle. So there's going to be some, uh, maybe a learning curve, some new things to learn about that new vehicle. But again, you want to make sure that you're comfortable parking that vehicle. And here's another thing I want you to pay attention to on that test drive is looking for blind spots. The new model, the new vehicle itself, maybe it's an entirely different manufacturer that you're looking at. Each vehicle has its own uh, characteristics of visibility inside the vehicle. I'm sitting in this beautiful Ford Edge Sport, and there's tons of visibility inside this vehicle. Front window, side windows, the A pillar is nice and small and out of the way, so I don't have a lot of blind spots up front, out back. I don't really have any blind spots, but that's specific to this vehicle. Whatever vehicle you're test driving, make sure that you look for blind spots. Again, as part of that fit and finish of driving and experiencing that new vehicle. Last but not least, when you go back to the dealership at the end of the test drive, don't just jump out and jump into the into the dealership right away. Do another walk around. Take a look at the maybe the cargo space. Uh, maybe there's some hidden compartments that you want to take a look at. Where's the spare tire? Where's the jack? Um, is there a vehicle manual in the glove box? Little things like this just, again, go to, towards the fit and finish and help you to have peace of mind as you're starting to go into negotiations about price and actually driving that vehicle home. You don't have to sit at the desk and wonder, well, where was that spare jack? Or does it even have a vehicle manual? manual or where's the spare tire you already know because you looked at it coming back on the test drive so that's my thoughts for you today the test drive is in my opinion the most important part of the sales and customer service experience in buying and looking for a new vehicle and i want you to make sure that you're well prepared the next time that you go for a test drive my name's ryan you're on key west ford tv you can come down and check us out at keywestford.com we're at 301 stewartson way in the heart of New Westminster. I'd love to put you behind the wheel and go for a test drive with you, maybe in something like a Ford Edge Sport or something similar. Maybe you're looking at a compact car or truck. We have everything to meet your needs. Come and check us out. You can reach out to me specifically, ryan at keywestford.com. I'd love to handle any questions that you might have or topics that we have not covered in these daily and weekly videos. Have a great day, folks.